April 1st. Hardiness versus heartlessness towards others. It is Christ who also maketh intercession for us. The Spirit maketh intercession for the saints. Romans 8, 34, and verse 27. Do we need any more argument than this to become intercessors? That Christ ever liveth to make intercession? That the Holy Spirit maketh intercession for the saints? Are we living in such a vital relationship to our fellow men that we do the work of intercession as the Spirit taught children of God? Begin with the circumstances we are in, our homes, our businesses, our country, the present crisis as it touches us and others. Are these things crushing us? Are they badgering us out of the presence of God and leaving us no time for worship? Let us call a halt and get into such living relationship with God that our relationship to others may be maintained on the line of intercession, whereby God works His marvels. Beware of outstripping God by your very longing to do His will. We run ahead of Him in a thousand and one activities, and consequentially, we get so burdened with persons and with difficulties that we do not worship God, we do not intercede. If once the burden and the pressure come upon us, and we are not in the worshiping attitude, it will produce not only hardness towards God, but despair in our own souls. God continually introduces us to people for whom we have no affinity, and unless we are worshiping God, the most natural thing to do is to treat them heartlessly, to give them a text like the jab of a spear, or to leave them with a wrapped-out counsel of God, and go. A heartless Christian must be a terrible grief to our Lord. Are we in the direct line of the intercession of our Lord and of the Holy Spirit?